Oh my gosh. That is a monster. That's what we wanted. Hey, what's going on, Salt Strong? I am up here in Northeast Florida today. Bright and sunny day. Hanging out with uh, our main man, Richard. Say what's up, dude. What's going on? I am entirely out of my element right now. The tides up here uh, in Northeast Florida are crazy. And in particular today, I think we've got what, like a six foot tide swing? Yeah, six it's one, almost six two. It's, it's pretty high today. And uh, Richard is gonna play captain today. So the main objective today is really to poke back in all of these marsh creeks on this super high tide. And we're gonna enjoy the rare phenomena that is a flood tide. And it doesn't happen on every high tide and it doesn't happen all year long. It happens certain times of the year and there's a certain height uh, in this area in general, over six feet tends to kind of be that, that foundation for a flood tide. Not being a local to the area and really not super familiar with this type of fishery, these uh, tall expansive Spartina grass marshes and deeper channels. I mean, we'll go from two foot right up against the shoreline out to 15 to 20 feet pretty instantly. And uh, initially those drop-offs and access to deep water are alluring, but as we'd mentioned on a previous uh, tea time together, it is all about the tides. It's about those sweet spots. And we're right about two hours, I think, from top of high tide where the flood tide's really gonna start getting good and uh, we're just strategically trying to place ourselves based on wind direction, based on how big the flat is, where those main highways are that Richard's pointing out, and we're gonna cruise up in there after the redfish have already made their way in and just try to uh, very quietly invite ourselves as a guest to their party. So we're gonna go out and see if we can't get a couple nice fish and see some of these redfish milling through the grass. That should be a really cool sight, and uh, we're gonna try to get some of that on video to share with you guys here soon. So as Richard and I wait for the tide to start coming up, uh, we decided to work these outside edges of the flats that we're gonna be moving up onto. Uh, really had a hard time finding redfish off the edge. That was the initial plan, but we did find some smaller trout that were waiting uh, in ambush back in these little coves and pockets where the water was starting to flow in. They were likely staged up and faced into the current waiting for any shrimp or bait fish to flow by them. So just picked off a couple little small trout. Uh, got that one on a three inch Z-Man Minnow Z in Slam Shady color. Just a good universal scouting tool to find out where these fish are gonna be at. And sure enough, they were exactly where we expected in those little ambush bush uh, points and pockets um, but didn't really have a whole lot of luck way back on the inside so I decided to move out front with Richard and uh, bounce bottom where the current was ripping around the edge of these outside flats it would drop from three or four feet out to 15 feet and sure enough I pulled up this small red just bouncing bottom no oh, baby red micro red I can get my micro slam for the day. <laughs> Look at how tall that dorsal is. I'm such a little guy, hey, buddy. Little guy. Little micro red. That was cool. So finally, that tide had come up enough just to where Richard and I can start making our way onto the flat. We wanted to position ourselves with the wind at our backs. It would just make for an easier time drifting across this whole flat and finding fish. It was a little slow in the beginning. We found some small 20 inchers that were popping crabs, but the water came up so high and these fish ended up being really hard to see. But it was when that tide turned out that we started to find more and bigger fish. Oh my gosh. That is a monster. That's what we wanted. <laughs> yes. That's the biggest one so far, buddy. Oh man, that was so cool. Oh, it's a beautiful fish, dude. My gosh. <laughs> oh man, that is a beautiful specimen right there. Absolutely slammed the gold digger. I just pinched that tail off which made it a, oh, hello, hello, he's not done. <laughs> I pinched the tail off so that it was easier to get in and out of all this grass. And I mean, I just brought it right by his face. He was tailing in the skinniest of grass. Easy, buddy. 
Oh, don't do that. That's exactly what we were looking for today. That is a beautiful, chunky Northeast Florida redfish. And he slammed that gold digger. Pinching off that tail, getting it in and out of the grass a little bit easier. That's exactly what he wanted. That's so awesome. Oh man, solid. That's about as good as it gets, man. Look at that, completely disappeared. I don't even know where he went. <laughs> the Houdini of the flats. Nice, man. That was so cool, man. This is such a cool phenomenon because as Richard said, it doesn't happen all the time. You gotta have the right tides. We've been hunting all day for this fish. It's probably what, one in the afternoon right now? And um, I think that tide just switched to where the water's starting to move again. And all of a sudden, this really nice tail popped up in front of me and just flipped a gold digger out right in front of him. Uh, I think I, I let I just dead sticked it and I gave a really quick twitch and I saw him take off I thought I spooked him and I was like wait a second. Why is my line moving? <laughs> so I didn't even feel the eat. I just saw him like take off That was uh, that was really cool. But we're, we're in the we're in the thick of it right now So we're gonna try to see if we can get a couple more before that tide dumps out So just as quickly as that tide came in it started flushing out pretty quickly uh, Richard and I found a couple fish that were staging in the thicker part of the grass trying to make their way out but uh, we decided to call it quits. This fish were starting to stage out and head off the flat, and we knew it was time to head back to the ramp. All right, so I'm back home and cleaned up from that awesome trip with Richard in Northeast Florida. Uh, I'm not even sure what else to say. Such a unique phenomena to find these redfish tailing in the grass on a super high tide. Uh, just to see them milling around and popping the little crabs that are hanging on the edge of the Spartina grass, rooting around in the mud, looking for shrimp and other bait fish. Just a really, really cool experience. For those of you guys that, that fish and live around coastal marshes, uh, northeast part of Florida, coastal Georgia and the Carolinas, you're truly blessed. I, I highly encourage getting out and enjoying that phenomena here before we make our way into the winter months. And if you guys want to learn more about how we caught that redfish and what we caught it on, it was on our custom gold digger paddle tail. Uh, this is more of the nub rig. I chopped the tail off. If you want to pick up a pack of these or some owner twist lock hooks, some leader material, anything that an inshore angler needs, we have it all for you over at fishstrong.com. It's our online tackle shop. And for those of you that are insider members and a part of our club, we're going to have a really detailed report about exactly how we approach that day, what we look for in the tides, the type of areas that we found that we, we thought was going to be productive, and it turned out it was, uh, what the wind was doing that day, all kinds of variables go into the pre-plan to help make sure we're successful on the water, and that's what we're going to teach you guys over at saltstrong.com. So if you have any more questions, leave a comment down below, and we hope we can see you guys on the water soon. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club for saltwater anglers, especially if you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it. We actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this with our premium education, an exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle that you need. So to learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we'll see you on the water soon.